Hello everyone and thank you for watching. Today's demo is on the balloon stencils and this is a pre-recorded video. So I started today with a 4 by 12 sheet of white daisy cardstock and I lined up the first part of the balloon stencil overlay and I'm using the colors glacier, sapphire, and black on this first set and in small circular motions with my blending brush, I'm just adding the glacier color to the balloons. And while I'm doing this, I'm noticing that some of the balloons are darker, some of them are lighter, and I like the different color variants that is happening here. Once I finish that part, then I put on the second part of the balloon stencil, which is the detail. And these were pretty easy to line up. Although um, as I was lining them up, I, I did take note of where I started on the stencil and um, at what point, you know, how far in the stencil I went. Um, not every balloon on this stencil has detail. Some of them are polka dots, some of them are stripes. Um, and you can obviously see the sapphire color going on there really quickly and easily. And then I added the third layer of the stencil, which is the, um, the balloon strings. And so I did that in black and the strings are really easy because they line up directly underneath each balloon. And I started with my blending brush going in circular motions. And then as you can see here, I ended up just kind of going uh, straight up and down and I found that the color went on a lot easier and a lot quicker that way. Um, there are also parts of the balloon um, stencil detail where it just looks like confetti. So after I washed the stencils, I began with my second colorway here. And you can see here, I'm doing this one in a more feminine look. So I used Flamingo ink for my balloons and again you can see the different color variations and um, how some of them are light and some of them are dark using the flamingo ink. The second layer that I did with this is using the rosy ink. So I lined that up and this is the detail. So again the, um, the polka dots and the stripes that go in some of the balloons. I lifted it up uh, there really quickly just to make sure that the blue that you can see stained my stencil wasn't uh, transferring through and it was not transferring. And then the last section here I used uh, royal purple and these are the balloon lines. And again uh, what I was trying to say is that the balloons all have the strings but then there's some extra lines um, in this stencil that are just kind of like accent like little confetti accents. So this is the third color or the second colorway, which is the flamingo, pink, rosy, and royal. So I've done two sets already. And then I decided to do a third set. And this third set is going to be Sundance for my balloons, which is this beautiful yellow color. And then I decided to do the accents in scarlet red and then the balloon strings in black. And so those would really nicely make um, great, like a very great generic birthday. It's also a very Disney color, right? But it happens to be our school colors. And so you'll see at the very end what I end up doing with these. Again, these stencils are really easy to line up and I did not use the stencil in the same exact spot for all three of my um, strips of paper. I kind of moved it side to side, that way they weren't all completely identical. So this is the balloon accents, which are in the scarlet color. And then last you'll see that I'm adding the balloon strings again in black. So I have scarlet, Sundance, and black, which are our school colors. 
These stencils are really easy to use. They're very easy to clean. Of course, you have to clean them between each um, project that you use them on. So I cleaned them in between each uh, strip of paper that I used. So now you can see, this is what I did with the blue set. I cut strips of paper, I cut titles, I cut um, numbers, and I created an 18th birthday cards. With the pink set, again, I cut strips of paper, I did some die cutting, and then I cut, I created birthday cards, two different birthday cards. And with the yellow, red, and black set, I created a graduation card. They're both slightly different. Which one do you like best? Tell me in the comments below. And thanks for watching.